another episode of Heartbeat of the Timbavati. In this episode, we'll have a look at a female leopard named Cleo and her cub. We attempt to film elephants with GoPro and the limping Naru male lion calling for his brothers. All right, so I've obtained visual, guys, still from a distance. We're about another 100 meters, so stay tuned. I think we're gonna be in for something very special. Alrighty guys, I'm gonna try and reposition quickly so I can obtain a nice clear visual of that cub. Cleo is up there with her baby. Got a fully grown male impala. I'll probably be here for the night as well. Alrighty guys, there's Cleo. Well positioned, nice spot in the tree there, the right leg dangles a bit. It shows that she's quite relaxed, you can see the ears also facing forward. No agnostic behaviour towards me, I'm also keeping a relative distance. Luckily I can zoom in a little bit. And of course there's the impala, you can see the head hanging there. Quite a big male that she's caught. Well, she's still a strong female leopard so got no doubt that she'll easily bring down prey of that size. I'm still trying to get a glimpse of the cub. Now the cub is on the trunk that she's lying on. If you follow it to the left top corner of the frame, the cub is up there. Let me quickly reposition and I'll be with you guys in a sec. Eventually I settled and got a great view of the cub. It's revitalizing to see a new face, and I was pleasantly surprised to see how relaxed the young leopard was towards the vehicle. Roughly 8 to 10 months old, it will still be dependent on the mother's care for another 4 to 5 months before dispersing on its own. With her face unscarred and the eyes reflecting the twinkle of youth, the young leopard gazed into the distance. It wasn't long before a hungry scavenger appeared from the surrounding thickets. Hyena's senses are extremely acute and plays a pivotal role in obtaining food. Their olfactory capabilities are remarkable and can follow scent trails that are already three days old. No wonder the scent of these two leopards were quickly tracked down, especially with a fresh impala kill. Despite the fact that the question is frequently asked, hyenas cannot climb trees. But if the carcass is almost within reach, they may try and grab it by leaning against the tree, standing on their back legs. Unfortunately for this hyena, it was so close, but yet so far. Now for Cleo and her youngster, well, they were clearly not faced by the scavenger below. All right. Let's try and get some footage of the pachyderms up close. I've placed the GoPro camera against the fallen branch to see if I can get the elephant walk right by it without them noticing. I'll fast forward because this takes a few minutes. As luck would have it, an adult female led by her two year old calf walked right by the camera. Not much luck after that, so I drove on and collected my GoPro. To try another time though. Hey 
guys, how's it? Okay, let's try one more time. Needless to say, I didn't get it right this time around, so we'll try again next time. For now, let's hop over to another great sighting of the Naru male that gave us a quick glimpse of how his vocal cords sound. Settled in the sighting, Big Boy was still snoozing. Every now and then he would lift up his head and listen intently to his surroundings for any sign of his brothers and the rest of the pride. Lions roar to advertise their territory or to locate other members of the pride. They do this mainly at night as this is when they are most active but also because the air is stiller and sound carries further. It is estimated that the roar of a lion carries over 7 kilometers depending on the time of year and weather. We had to be patient but eventually it paid off and he gave us quite the roar. From the Rockfic team, thanks for watching, stay safe and cheers for now. <coughs>